We know, for example, that if you are in a um, car accident or some sort of uh, collision where you get a concussion and you're knocked out, within 30 minutes you have vagal nerve malfunction and that malfunction actually causes leaky gut. So there is an effect, the pulsation from the vagus nerve that helps maintain the integrity of the gut border. And the vagus nerve is very sensitive to our, our modern lifestyle and stress is one of those things that's going to alter uh, vagal nerve uh, tone. So there is that connection, but there's also when you're in this hyper mode, this fight or flight state, it's actually like an attack on the gut and it increases secretion of zonulin and it causes the connections between the cells. You imagine the tight junctions, the cells are sealed like this and there's no space between the cells. So only the nutrients that can get absorbed through the cell can get through. But now you have the effect of stress or gluten or dysbiosis and imbalance of good and bad bacteria causing inflammation in the gut or stress itself kind of like an attack on the gut and that increases the space. So it loosens the tight junctions. So now you can see there are holes in between the cells. These are microscopic um, spaces, but they're big enough for then partially digested proteins to get through. And that's where we see food sensitivities start to evolve. And then the body doesn't react to amino acids, but the immune system does react to proteins and if the protein is a certain length of every protein is a chain of amino acids if it's greater than a certain amount of amino acids it's going to then look at it and say this is a foreign invader this could be a bacteria and it's going to attack it as if it is a bug that's trying to get into the body it doesn't matter that it's food and that causes um, again the whole cascade of inflammation that we've been talking about